I'm Paul Piff. I'm an assistant professor of psychological science in the School of Social Ecology, and I am fundamentally interested in the nature of human kindness. I grew up in Israel, and as a kid, I was there during the Gulf War, when Israel was being attacked by Iraq. And I remember as a kid sitting in a bomb shelter, listening to Scud missiles overhead, wondering what could cause people, groups, and countries to go to war with one another and be so antagonistic. I study the psychology of compassion, the factors that cause people to be kind and cooperative toward one another, what is morality, and what causes us as individuals to come together and form cohesive communities, neighborhoods, groups, and countries. A lot of people think that compassion is a fluffy topic, not one that you can study scientifically. But it turns out that there is a science of compassion. And what it's telling us is that compassion is a fundamental part of our nature and is central to how we as a species can combat many of our most pressing social problems like global hunger, climate change, and environmental disaster. I've studied kindness from a lot of different angles. What are the factors that get people outside of themselves and be willing to be nice and empathetic towards someone else, even if that person's very different from them? And more recently, I've gotten really interested in experiences of awe and how awe in nature, for example, can cause people to connect to others and larger groups beyond themselves. We ran one study where we brought people into a large grove of trees and we found that having them spend just 60 seconds looking up at those big trees and being filled with awe caused them to be more ethical, more moral, more compassionate, and more kind. Insights from my research have already been implemented in classrooms, in social media platforms, in neighborhoods, and in workplaces to help people get outside of themselves and more connected to others. The science of compassion is offering us new and exciting ways to enhance not only our own well-being as individuals, but also to help construct more cohesive and collaborative communities.